So the Meijin project commenced construction in September 2014 and we went into active operation in April of 2018. Um, the project has involved the installation of four individual foundations, four cables, uh, the construction of an onshore power station, um, and then we've installed the four turbines themselves on top of those foundations. Since the commencement of the uh, of operation, we've now generated about 22 gigawatt hours to the grid. Um, and we're seeing our availability continue to increase. Our capacity factors are where they, uh, we were expecting them to be. Um, and overall, the system is, is operating at the level of efficiency that we were, we were hoping to achieve um, for this fledgling technology and, and demonstrating the commercial viability uh, of this industry going forwards. The Magen project being located where it is in between the island of Stroma and the north of top of Scotland, um, we have a very um, high increase of flow, of that tidal flow passing through that stream. So not only is it a great location for, for generating renewable electricity, it is a very challenging location to work. We have some fairly short um, slack tide windows where we can get on site, where we can either install turbines, install equipment or recover turbines. We have a high degree of planning around that operation. Um, we, we time everything, we, are, we understand the flows, we work with the vessel, uh, the vessel crews and the masters and the operators to make that operation as safe as possible, um, to make sure that uh, we keep our assets and our personnel safe and just making sure that we, we can be as efficient as we possibly can to, 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 to install and recover turbines. So the Magen project has demonstrated the capability of tidal energy to produce um, renewable but also predictable electricity. Bringing on the AR2000, the new turbine, a, a 500 kilowatts of more energy from the, from a, from the same size of unit, um, that's an exciting um, development for us in being able to get, that, get the cost of power down, reduce the, the levelised cost of energy and start to compete with other forms of traditional generation but also to become a viable part of the UK energy mix. So people come to site, uh, we have uh, academics and we have, we have the general public as well sometimes who come to see the site. And we take them to Ness of Coys, which is just along the road from John O'Groats, and we show them the onshore power station, which is a, a green building in the middle of a field which has got power, power conversion equipment inside it. And that's all you can see. There is nothing else to look at. Everything else is two kilometres offshore, under the water, out of the way, um, relatively safe. Um, and it's just generating power um, day in, day out, as predictable as the tides. Due to this predictable nature of the tidal flow, and due now to our ability to demonstrate the technology, tidal energy has a place in the UK industry. It, it is a renewable, but also it's a predictable renewable. We know when there's going to be a slack tide. We know when there's going to be a peak tide. We know when there's going to be a spring tide and a neap tide. So right now we can predict energy generation 10, 20, 50, 20 years into the future. So that, able to, that ability to predict the power and predict the energy you're going to generate means that the UK grid knows what they're going to get from this renewable source. The attraction of working in the tidal industry is kind of knowing that you're, you're at the fore of this new industry at this new technology and you have the capability to really make a difference for my kids and for other people's kids and, and to really be involved with something that is novel that no one's, no one's doing. It is difficult, it is hard, but it is worthwhile.